Okay, here's another math problem, and again, you'll, you'll actually need some calculus in this one as well. Um, I'll definitely post some more in the future where you don't need calculus to solve them, but certainly feel free to post a video response. had a lot of really good video responses uh, last time, and people solved them in ways that I hadn't quite anticipated, so I thought it was great. If you know the name of uh, the, uh, the there's a, there's a physics principle related to the problem that I'm about to post. If you know the name of it, don't put it in the comment section because then I think people will be tempted to look it up. And, uh, right, then it kind of ruins, ruins the, uh, the challenge. So, okay. So maybe you've seen this, some of you. But have you ever proved it? So, okay, so here's the problem. We've got a ray of light that travels from a point A to a point B in minimal time. The point A is in one medium, so maybe uh, this is, for example, uh, in the air or in a vacuum. And the point B is in another medium, such as water or maybe glass. In the first medium, we know that the light travels at a velocity V sub 1. And in the second medium, it travels at a velocity V sub 2. The media are separated by a line L. And what we have to do is we want to show that for the path A, P, B of minimal time, that sine of alpha divided by V sub 1 equals sine of beta divided by V sub 2. Okay, so my point A, we've got a little height here of lowercase a. It makes an angle of alpha. There's our point P, and again, there's our point B. It's got a distance below the line L of lowercase b, and again, this is the angle beta, and again, separated by a line L. So maybe, you know, this is the sun, it hits the water, bends, and then goes to some other point. So again, we have to show that sine of alpha over v sub 1 equals sine of beta over v sub 2. So as always, uh, definitely feel free to post a video response. I'll check them out and approve them.